Welcome to our channel. In celebration of our favorite yet very hectic holiday season, we're doing something special this year. Join us as we capture our daily life sharing a new video every day leading up to Christmas Day. This is gonna be fun! This is Vlogmas episode two and today I'm taking you with me on a stroll on memory lane in my hometown which I have a lot of mixed feelings to. But first, I'm gonna have to do something about this. So I am now in Christenham, the town that I was born in and I lived up until I was 18 years old until I moved abroad to London and yeah I'm back on the old stomping grounds. Ironically the home that we bought on the countryside is not far away from there. In fact it's so close even that I can go get a haircut. So yeah, I have a lot of feelings and emotions attached to this place and I want to share that with you today. But first, let's make a big chop, get rid of some of this hair because I'm so fed up of taking care of this hair and it's so naughty and so thick that I need a little transformation. So I'm gonna take you down memory lane in my hometown looking fly with a new haircut. So let's go. Hey, oh it's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yo, I'm here. At the, I'm on the toilet here. It's a bit early. I'm starting to get second thoughts when I see these curls popping. <laughs> It grows out so fast though, it really does. Say goodbye. Talk to me Hello. <laughs> okay, where was I? I'm currently walking on what's called Kungsgatan, meaning the King Street. And I would come back for Christmas and summers. I used to feel so much resentment towards this town. And I would be such a, that typical person who moves abroad, who's like, oh, in London, this and that, like such a prude. But now, as I'm coming to visit it more and more, I start to appreciate it way more and appreciate it for many different reasons too. The infrastructure, the community parts, aspects, stores, restaurants. I think it, I feel like it's developed a lot since I lived here too. But anyway, this is Kungsgatan, the main street. It uh, means King Street. And at night actually, you might not believe this, but at night, this whole street is turned into a huge carnival. There's party, there's people playing music up. No. I'm lying. <laughs> it's very quiet. It's a quiet town, small town. I'm in a new era in my life too. So to be here and like capturing this feels kind of surreal and uh, weird at the same time. I've shared great moments here. I've shared not so great moments here. Very, very traumatic uh, experiences here. So. I owe this town some sort of gratitude, I guess, since it's sort of shaped me in my childhood. And although I didn't choose where to live growing up, this was the place I was brought into, this was the place I was born in. So, of course, it's sort of, sort of a, a part of me. But I'm so hungry. Shvarma. They have falafel here, I have to try that out. Hey. I'm going to for the kebab. Hey, hey, for the fem, bro, alle. I tell you, for the fem. For the fem, bro, alle. What do you recommend? Are you mild, alle? 
Jag tar mild. Mitt så? Ja. Ja. Ja, det kan jag göra. Tack. There is one place that I haven't visited for forever. This is the home that I grew up in. The first five years in my life. That was a part of my life where my both parents lived together. So when I turned five, they divorced. So my memories from here are not that vivid. But I do remember having a really good room. Large room with a balcony. Actually, that used, that used to be my room with a balcony. I'm really lucky because my dad, he's a filmmaker as well. So back in the days he would carry a camera with him all the time and I have luckily been able to relive those moments since I was so young my sister who's five years older than me probably have more of a vivid memory and can probably pinpoint more details of our childhood in this house I remember running around in the garden playing with my sister in the pool but for some reason that is like stuck in my head like marked in my my mind as a good times that's the apartment my mom rented right after the divorce. And the fun part about this place was, uh, this was kind of like a matriarch. Every friend I had, and, and I'd say every house, in each complex in this area, I had at least two friends that I was really close with, that I would play with every day after school. And for some reason, it was the mother who chose to live here. Like, I don't know why that is, it just dawned on me now that every friend I had had an independent mother. My mom was living here by herself, my friend Sebastian who lived up there, they lived here with their mom only. This is where my dad lived. There used to be a home here. A nice idyllic red home, you know the red homes. Uh, that my dad would rent but after he moved out they realized that there was so much work to do on it that uh, they would tear it down yeah so the home was right here and you see the hedges how it sort of frames this patch this was an idyllic in so many ways too like I had the whole forest up there who isn't as dense as it used to be but uh, this place now has kind of become really popular because all the buildings down there used to be a huge, almost like a city for like a mental health institution. You all crazy? So no one lived here. But then when that got bankrupt or moved or whatever outsourced, there's these huge, like this huge stoic like buildings that people are renting apartments today. So they've built so much down, the lake is down there. So it's like really cute, really beautiful. But back then, no one even knew about this place. I don't know where I got the idea of going here. I don't know what I wanted to achieve. I did achieve something and I think that is, I feel like there's been a lot of ego for me for, with my hometown where it's like I, I left and then I was living in London and then I would come back to Christenham and I would be like, Oh, I'm just here visiting. I don't live here. <laughs> the funniest part, like what it's the most surreal thing though, is that like I met Maya, right? We're, 
when I was in Berlin and she's in LA and then out of a sudden I find myself sometimes when we're here to visit family or whatever or relatives and like walking hand in hand with Maya in Christenham it's just such a I guess some people would call that a circ- full circle moment but for me it's something weirder it's like something surreal like I can't really I can't really fathom that thought really but it is funny that Maya has actually um, been here too and she's actually even made friends here. Doesn't matter where that woman goes. She always seems to find her people. And I'm in, amazed by that because I'm supposed to be the extrovert. But she, I think she has a little magnet of people. Like people attracts to her um, energy. Let's see what Maya says. Right there. You right there. You're right there, Sage. I right, I've just been bragging about you here on camera. Um, how you make friends everywhere that you've even made friends in Christenham. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth. Where is the best place to visit in Christenham? Mormor. <laughs> <laughs> Mormor. <laughs> Let's go to Mormor. <laughs> Hello. Oi. Hey. Hey. Stay on. Lille Bonbon. Um, Mormor is the woman who gives me permission and freedom to be myself. Uh, I don't have to worry about my Swedish or English. Uh, we can have good laughs. She reminds me of my great granny who I miss dearly. She's just a good person to get good laughs with. It's the Scott in her. It's the <laughs> Hey. Say something. Say something important. You have 80, you have 80 years of experience in this world. I'm going to fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's this? Cinnamon buns. Saffron. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Ha det så bra. Hej då. Bye. That was my grandma. She had visitors. So cute. I've come to the final point in this town. The furthest you can get on the lake. And I think that sort of summarizes this day of nostalgia realizations and emotion reflections and i hope that you guys enjoy that please share in the comments below if you have any resentment towards your hometown if you've ever gone back in your older days if you live there still and what's good about it what's hard about it i want to hear all of it for the month of december we're doing vlogmas which means we're going to upload one vlog every single day up until christmas so make sure you're subscribed your notifications are on so you're up to date when we upload but now i'm gonna leave you with a wrap of this town you cannot leave this city without showing you the pride allegedly the great great picasso chose this town for a reason because it was so beautiful and he made a really remarkable mark here it is Guys, I was never gonna end the vlog without this, but I waited for a more juicy moment. <laughs> juicy, juicy. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you have hat hair. But... Hat hair, yeah. I've been hiding it from everyone. It looks kind of nice. Yeah, it's so nice. Like, wow. it needed. I needed a change for sure. <laughs> Look, you can do that. You can be that guy. You can be this guy. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's so fresh. Oh, I know you like this. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. Mm. I missed you. I missed you.